Welcome to today's video. If you don't know me, I'm Elena. I usually do face paint, transformations, drug looks, you name it. Just check out on my channel later. You already probably guessed by the thumbnail I'm doing the trend that I'm kind of late on, the doll face, the glass look. And I'm doing the intro without makeup, uh, with my regular makeup on, because I have a feeling I won't be able to talk once I put the gel mask on, and it's going to be all voiceover. So this is the only opportunity to say hello to you guys. So if you guys are interested, then keep on watching. Like, comment, subscribe, and let's get into this transformation. See if it actually works. <laughs> So I'm starting moisturized with Smashbox Photo Finish Primer and we're going with face base foundation and perfusion light foundation, like a green, brown, yellow. I wanted to create kind of a dull skin look, but also kind of a tired, worn out, slightly rotten, deadly. I don't know, just to be different. I colored my whole face, my whole body, down to my tube tank top. Yes, I have it. I'm not naked underneath there. And I blended it all with a spine chapter because the brush wasn't smooth enough. We use an Anastasia Beverly Hills concealer in the color one just to brighten up in the eyes. And that's pretty much it for the base, I said it. And now this is the Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Wiz in the granite. Kind of a thin, dull brow, doesn't have to be perfect, just like very weird looking. And this is a blend by the old done up palette and it has all those mustardy greens and cool greens and those are perfect for the kind of a tired doll look like a very sad doll it's pretty much a small gay eye kind of halo eye uh, look and it goes from black into the dark greens and mustardy colors and the shimmers in that palette they're perfect for the wet skin look because they're really looking like a wet skin so it's like per perfect like a glass look uh, so Blend it all to the eyebrow in the inner corner to create this kind of a very dark shadowy look. I did the same thing under the eye, which I didn't show. It was like a very uh, blended and very smoked out. And those shimmery, like a greenish and gold-ish shimmer. And this is NYX White Jumbo uh, Pencil, just for extra dull look. And I'm contouring with Yardi. Cosmetics uh, palette, it's a indie brand counter palette, they have a lot of cool tones in there. So I just wanted to create like an extra cool look and maybe a little green eyeshadow. This is Color Icon Wet n Wild Blush, I just reviewed in my previous video. I wanted to create a little more blushy look, although I wanted to look deadly, but it's still like, that's very dull. And this is Maybelline Matte Ink Blue Lipstick. I found that it was too purplish blue and it's just the wrong color. I wanted to match my uh, doll eye contact lenses, those are like a circle lenses and large thing. So I added some wet and wild old matte uh, lipstick and it's a bright, just perfect color. So I smudged it out and I put some concealer in the inner corners of my lips. And that creates kind of an artsy doll-like lip. Now we're mixing the gel mask. I got some mask on Amazon. It was just fast and available right now. That's why I got it. No other reason. We're using uh, a paintbrush. Obviously, I don't have the airbrush. And that would have been perfect. But with a paintbrush, you got to be careful. I mixed it with water too, as per instructions. But I wasn't sure what proportions. So I think I got it right. But it was kind of hard to work with. It came out okay, but I think it would have been more perfect if it was with an airbrush. But, you know, you work with what I got and I applied all over my face. And even a little bit under eyes, but not all the way because I'm going to use lip gloss in there. But I, I've also applied it over my body, over my chest, so I'm all shiny and glossy. And of course, using hair dryer in between to dry, just like uh, per instructions. They said to use it on like a low medium heat, which I used it on low medium heat. And it does dry it very quickly, actually. It speeds up the process easily. And I applied like two, three layers. I think it was three. And this is Anastasia Beverly Hills, just a clear lip gloss all over my eyelid. And a little bit under eyes and on the lips, of course, to finish the shine. So I'm shiny all over the place. So 
So this is a finished look. Surprisingly, I can still talk. And I thought I couldn't, wouldn't be able to move my mouse. I'm trying not to move too much. Because this was pain. I'm telling you right away. I mix way too much gel mask. But I got cheap one on Amazon. And it kind of stinks badly. But <laughs> it's good for this purpose. I would say if you try to do this, mix just very little. A little, a little bit of that goes a long way. <clears throat> I just like kind of spilled it accidentally and created a mess. But yeah, if you make a mistake, if it goes over your foundation, it can actually destroy your foundation. You have to be very careful since they don't have a spray. Obviously, the best way is to do it the way Pat McGrath did it with the um, airbrush, right? Uh, I was thinking about using one of these things, but... Uh, the chances are it would be very uneven and it would spray everywhere because it's not a fine mist. So I just went with a flat brush the way other people have done it on YouTube and uh, actually worked pretty well. And uh, two layers to me, like it was enough. I'm shiny AF. And I put uh, um, Anastasia Beverly Hills lip gloss around my eyes and my lid and my lips. And I created kind of a very vampy, like a slightly sickly, slightly dead doll <laughs> with a blue and green. I'm kind of living for this. I would say this is a success. I put it all over my body as well. Uh, models didn't have it over their bodies, I think. But me being extra, I want to be glossy everywhere. Since I'm a doll, I'm going to be shiny half everywhere. Crazy. Oh, <laughs> I'm that kind of doll. Oh, <laughs> I love the show. If you guys haven't watched the fashion show of John Galliano, oh my god. This is like, first of all, <laughs> I'm so backwards, I didn't know about it. My friend just sent me a link. I'm like, oh my god, this is awesome. So it felt like a, a kind of a noir horror movie in the beginning, and then became this kind of a work of art. Can't even call it fashion show with a work of art. I was like gagging over it. And the performance in the beginning, if you watched that, I was like, wait a minute, is it like a 1980s uh, a look of Freddie Mercury. This guy looks like Freddie Mercury, but he opens his mouth and he doesn't sound like him. <laughs> and it's not a shade, it's just like he, he's amazing, he's just not the same, but he looks just like him. I loved him. Uh, lucky love. Look it up. It's very amazing. So the whole thing is like 30 something minutes. If I remember, I'm going to link this here, put a card for that fashion show because that was like, holy cow, it's amazing. So that, there you go. This is my broken uh, glass doll. So let me know what you guys think. Leave me a comment below. I need to take this off before I start cracking. <laughs> so if you haven't subscribed to my channel, uh, subscribe if you like to and uh, do ring the notification bell so you get notified of all the new videos I upload. Thank you all for watching. I love you guys and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!